So what we're going to do is we've got Sydney on Miracle and I'm over here on Boyo. And basically we're just going to go through our regular warm-up routine. Now we've already done all of our groundwork. And now we're going to focus on doing everything in the saddle. Okay, so since Boyo hasn't been ridden in a while, we're going to go ahead and start with our tune-up. And everything always starts with being able to move the head and the neck. Now I've got a shank tackamore on him. It's a little different than what he's used to. So first things first is I'm going to make sure that he will give to it. And so there it is on the right. Ask him to give on the left and release. Again on the right. He walked off a little bit. That's okay. We're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. So I get a nice give. He pulled off, so I'm going to pull. So again, there we go. I'm going to ask again. There we go. Kind of hit his head. Can you go ahead and flex him too? So the flexing part. Let's go ahead and start with flexing. And it kind of depends on how well they're doing. If they give their head immediately to them, to you, then you go ahead and stick with it. But like him, he's He's still learning the pressure on his nose as opposed to the bit. So we're getting him used to the pressure on his nose. Direct rain, direct rain. If he'll see me here, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And he gave, so I released. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So he's feeling it on one side of his face as opposed to the other. And getting him used to a hackamore, this is one of those things. They'll get used to the pressure and as soon as he gives, just release. There we go. And there we go. Now he's starting to get the idea a little bit better. He's still throwing his head a little bit because he's not used to the pressure on his nose. There we go. Now I like that a whole lot better. Pull. Flex. Keep him again. There you go. There you go. Flex. There you go. Good. Now he's giving a whole lot better. All right, now that we've basically got his nose, that he is going to follow his nose, let's put the follow his nose to his test, and we'll start with a spiral down to a one rein stop. So I always check and see how my brakes are doing, just in case they get squirrely. Spiral down to a one rein stop is a great way to do this. So, small circle, direct rein, direct rein, and Sit back, say whoa, and pull the head. And when they stop, there you go. So I'm gonna spiral down and tip the nose, tip the nose, tip the nose, and whoa, and release. So that's good. He still remembers a spiral down to a one rein stop. Okay. They also have to be able to stop and back. So, backing engages the hindquarters, and we'll see how well the back is. There's a couple of different methods for backing. If you're using the hackamore, it's basically you're going to squeeze with your glutes, you're going to tuck your butt a little bit, and you're going to give a little squeeze and ask for the back. And he still remembers the back really well. Good boy. So walk forward. Ooh, and back. The goal is squeeze, 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 and I really don't want to use back, 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 that much rain at all. Just a nice little backup. So walk forward, whoa, and back, 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 back. Okay, good. So, now we've got him backing. Now, let's work on the forehand. So, this is going to be a back up and a turn on the haunches, which is turning the shoulders around the haunches. Okay, so, we get the horse using his hindquarters in a back up. We're gonna pick up and I'm going to lift up on the direction that I'm going button number one in the opposite direction, and I open the door. So, I'll walk forward, walk forward, and whoa, 
back, back, back. I want to go right. So I'm going to ask left foot, button number one, tip his head, back, 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 and ask for the turn until he turned that forehand for me. I got a little bit. Back, 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 and to the right, button number one with the left, and ask for the, there we go, I got a crossover. Now, back, 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 now to the left, right, button number one, there we go, good. Back, 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 I want to go to the left, button number one on the right, and ask for the cross. Now, there we go, good. So, that engages the forehand. So it's basically a backup to a roll back at a 180 or a 90 degree angle, depending on where you want to go. Ooh. Again, back. Lots of backing at this phase. And I like how he's already giving his head. And there we go. That's good. He's trying. He's just not used to the pressure on his nose. He's had a little bit of time off. Easy, buddy. There we go. And back. Come on. Back up. Back up. And I'm only putting really, really light pressure on him. But he's getting used to the way that it feels. That's why he's moving his head so much. There we go. Now we'll just stop and let him relax. Remember, he doesn't have a bit in his mouth. He's just getting used to the way things are going on his nose. All right. So, now, we're getting him to circle. We're getting him to use his, high, uh, his forequarters really well. Now, let's look at making him use his hindquarters. Now, the hindquarters are button number three. <laughs> so, if I want him to move his hindquarters to the right, tip his head to the left, and button number three, which is right here by my back girth, and I should get him to start moving. Crossover, 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 and release. So, now I want the crossover with the hip, tip the nose to the right, button number three on the right, and make the left. There you go. He's a little bit stiff on this side, but there you go. <laughs> come, on. come on, release the hip there. As soon as the hip releases, I release. So there's kind of our basic, basic warm-up exercises. Even though he hasn't been ridden in a while, these are some of the exercises that we are going to work with and we're going to build upon to get him back into shape. So thank you so much for watching today's video on Boyo. And if you want to see more on Boyo, check out his playlist. And remember, if you haven't already, Please subscribe.